Hi everyone. I have an update here and I think it's a pretty good one pointing to a good direction for the uh, coil and uh, magnet combination. And uh, what I have found is in my pile of salvage stuff is this MOSFET here which is a 2 SK2 eight zero six dash zero one and um, that MOSFET has been giving me some good results and I've been playing around with it a lot and I was finding it was sending back uh, a sine wave uh, to my uh, signal generator this is my signal generator here and I used to have this probe attached to it and a a current shunt, a 100 ohm resistor, and through the resistor, once the coil was working at its uh, optimum level, I would see this sine wave happening through the uh, uh, shunt resistor. So that led me to believe uh, that something was happening internally in the signal generator, because every time I was attaching the 555 circuit to pulse it, that wouldn't, wouldn't be there and on top of that the circuit wouldn't be in the ideal uh, resonating situation so I was believing that there's most likely <coughs> a uh, some kind of inductance uh, inside the signal generator output that was uh, allowing the coil resonance uh, leaking through the uh, gate coming back into the signal generator and uh, encouraging the circuit to function correctly. And uh, I think my uh, hunch or my understanding of it <laughs> is paying off. What I decided to do is, <clears throat> if you look here, this is a very small uh, transformer. It's kind of like a one-to-one -one, uh, transformer and that's actually a modem uh, transformer. So there's a, one coil on this side and another coil on that side there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I played around with that and I got the circuit uh, doing an interesting thing which was a self oscillation. And uh, it took a while to figure out that basically this coil on this side I could actually short so this little uh, orange uh, connector there is actually shorting the coil on this side. So I'm using really only one of the coils in this um, little uh, modem transformer. And it's connected between the gate of the MOSFET and the source of the MOSFET. And um, at this moment right now, the circuit is oscillating without a signal generator. Uh, this is my scope probe, the green probe, which is connected between the ground and the drain of the MOSFET. And we can see what the uh, scope shot looks like on there. And my other scope probe is attached on the output here of the pickup coil, which is uh, set up there. And at this time, there is 2.02 volts. Uh, going to the capacitor bank without a load. There is no load connected at this time and that's staying continuously charged and uh, the voltage, operating voltage that we're using is 12.88 volts which is coming from this battery here and the current that the circuit is utilizing is that. So it's not sending back current at this time it's at 0.000087 uh, microvolts and that would change into microamps basically. So that's what the circuit is consuming. I don't have it probably tuned to even go any further. I was very excited to see that I'm capable now of having it, having it uh, oscillate uh, on its own without a signal generator. And uh, here you might notice there's actually a small capacitor there and that's a 0 0.002 uh, microfarad or 2 uh, nanofarad capacitor 
and that capacitor is between the uh, coil here. So between uh, this negative side and the positive uh, side here will be basically where I connect the coil. So it's in parallel with the coil and I had to use that uh, capacitance there to actually drop the uh, resonating frequency of the uh, uh, toroid to get the uh, current down to this point here. Now I don't know if I can continue adding more capacitance because every time I add more uh, the current just kept going down and the voltage kept going up. So that's a good sign and uh, I decided to stop at this point and just do the video. Now <laughs> it's very quite amazing to see the waveform of this here. So this uh, here is my probe that's across the uh, source and drain of the uh, MOSFET. And as you see it's a perfect sine wave. And this yellow one here is the probe that's across the uh, pickup coil. And again another perfect sine wave and if you look at that sine wave between the, uh, co the uh, source and drain and the uh, pickup coil, they're perfectly uh, out of phase. And uh, that's very interesting to see. And if we look at our data here, this is the frequency oops, sorry, that the uh, circuit is resonating at at this time. At 18 kilohertz and there's the peak-to-peak -peak voltage uh, on the toroid and there's the RMS voltage that's measured on the toroid and the uh, last figure there, 2 volts, is the pickup coil that is uh, charging the capacitor obviously to 2 volts so our, our scope is saying the same thing as what we're doing here so what I'll do right now is I'll just attach the uh, 1k resistor here so we have a 1k ohm load there so now I've attached that and this is what the circuit is capable of putting uh, against that 1k ohm load 0.54 uh, volts and the current goes up here so we're actually using another uh, about 32 uh, microamps to uh, give us that uh, continuous load. Now there's no need near really to load that at the frequency that we're having. We could probably uh, use like 60 Hertz to power a bulb or whatever and uh, maintain our phase uh, ratio which we wouldn't have this uh, counter uh, uh, EMF here happening. So as you see now by adding the load our uh, phase has now shifted closer into the uh, uh, toroid coil phase which is not a preferable uh, situation but mind you this is still in development and I think the idea would be to always keep the phase so both of them are, are 90 degrees out of phase uh, so that there is no uh, overlapping or counter e e EMF here uh, between the two anyways I hope I'm explaining that correctly. I might be way out of lunch here. <laughs> I'm quite excited to uh, see this and, and it's hard to even believe that the circuit is really oscillating by itself but it truly is. Here I'll, I'll just show you. I'll just pull off the uh, ground connection here and everything just stopped. There is no current happening there. Uh, there's no current being drawn. And now if I reconnect that ground, nothing is still happening. And the only way that I can get it to function again would be to use my signal generator. I can do that and just give it one shot. And there, whoop. Okay, there we go. And now the circuit is functioning again. So I just needed one shot and now we've got our 0.54 volts there and our current draw. And now if I pull off the resistor 
the cap charges to its uh, two volts and we're back here with the scope shot gotta go we're out of time thanks for watching bye now